looking for those uh, vehicles that are just a little bit out of the ordinary. You see vehicles maybe going a little slower than the pack of traffic. We are developing a universal impairment detection device. From spotting drivers who are high to the technology that could help take them off the roads. We look at how police are preparing for legal pots. Officers who patrol the roads will be looking for some telltale signs of an impaired driver. Chris Glover went for a ride along with the OPP to find out exactly what they're watching for. All right, Carrie, thanks for giving us a drive. No problem. Let's go for a patrol. All right. The OPP says its patrols will remain the same even after cannabis is legalized. We are out looking for those high-risk drivers every single day and this is no change in our priorities and an impaired driver by alcohol or drugs uh, very often looks the same okay got it but there are key differences officers are trained to spot uh, well do you know what just going down the highways looking for those uh, vehicles that are just a little bit out of the ordinary you see vehicles maybe going a little slower than the pack of traffic maybe uh, inconsistent, uh, just not really aware of what's maybe happening around them. And sometimes they even catch themselves. A woman gets out, sees an officer driving by and flags them down and says uh, that she's lost and she needs some help uh, locating uh, her residence and wanted her GPS program by the officer. Officer had a conversation, figured something was wrong and she was impaired and she was charged and arrested with that. So and she had stopped the officer. She stopped the officer looking for assistance. If you're pulled over because of suspicion of driving stoned, right now you'll get a roadside sobriety test. There is a federally approved saliva test for cannabis, but none of the GTA police forces are using it. Next, students from Waterloo, Ontario, hoping the dragons fall under their influence with their sobering solution. On Dragon's Den next week, a Waterloo company is looking for cash to develop something to fill the gap for police and cannabis detection. We are developing a universal impairment detection device, which uses vital signs. Their head monitor measures five vital signs to discern impairment, a retinal scan to test eye movement, plus tests for body temperature, brain, heart, and muscle activity. And it could monitor impairment in other parts of people's lives too. I've always said that whoever solves this problem is going to be very, very rich. So you were on Dragon's Den. How was that experience? It was a great experience, to be honest. We were all nervous. The company is still in research and development with help at Laurier University. Why do you think there's so much interest in what you've developed? Um, people are kind of struggling and kind of thinking, how, how are they going to regulate impairment? So we kind of just saw this issue and thought, let's bring a new kind of concept into it, let's bring technology into it. They hope they'll be ready next July for police to consider using. Chris Glover, CBC News, Toronto.